Hey guys, in this new video, we're going to take a look at the auto ionization of water. So, what we're going to say here is, in an aqueous solution, so the solvent is water, water molecules can react with each other. And we're going to say this is called the process of auto ionization or self ionization. Now, in this process, we're going to create H3O plus and OH minus. Now, just realize, how does this happen? For this to occur, one of the water molecules has to act as an acid and the other one has to act as a base. So let's say that this one here acts as the acid and this here is the base. And remember, bronston lowry definitions. The acid acts as an H plus donor, the base acts as an H plus acceptor. So this base right here is going to accept an H plus and as a result it's going to become H3O plus. Then we're going to say that the other water molecule, the one that's acting as an acid, because it's giving away an H+, it becomes OH-. And just also realize here that water molecules exist in liquid form, but then once they become these ions, the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion, they're going to become aqueous. So they're no longer liquid water. And because of that, they're no longer a liquid, they're going to be aqueous. Remember, aqueous just means that the parts of the water are attracted to these particular ions. We can simplify autoionization or self-ionization by just saying that water separates into H plus plus OH minus. And remember, we've said this before that H plus is the same thing as H3O plus. Okay? So both are hydronium ion. They both mean the same exact thing. Now we're going to say here that the equilibrium equation for water is called the ion product. An ion product is simply said to be Kw. So when we're talking about the Kw for water, we're talking about the ion product of water. And we're going to say that Kw equals your hydronium ion multiplied times your hydroxide ion. And we're going to say here that at 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. But remember, just like all Ks, it's going to be temperature dependent. If you change the temperature, you're going to change the value of the Kw. So we're going to say increasing the temperature will increase our Kw. Now, here I give us a bunch of different values for Kw found at various temperatures. And notice, as the temperature gr gradually increases, our Kw will get bigger and bigger. Now just realize on your exam when you need to use Kw, if they don't give you a temperature, just assume that it's 25 degrees Celsius. So then Kw would be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Now knowing this, let's take a look at this question here. 